Hey guys, Florin here. In this tutorial I want to show you how I created this light dark toggle theme effect for one of my projects in the 100 days 100 projects challenge. So you can see if we click here on this toggle, we're toggling between the light and the dark theme. If you're interested to check out the challenge, I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so here we have a fresh new code time project. And first, let's create the HTML structure. We're going to have a div, which will contain our toggle. Here we'll have an input of type checkbox. Also, it will have a class of checkbox and an ID of checkbox. We're going to use the class to style it in the CSS and the ID, we're using it to link the input with the label. Okay, let's create a label. Label for checkbox. So this for attribute is linking with the ID for the input. This is useful because when I'm going to click on the label, it will toggle the check effect on the input. Also, let's add a class for the label called label. Okay. Inside the label, we're going to have two font awesome icons. The first one is FA Moon. And their second one is FA Sun. And also we're going to have a ball inside our toggle. So basically we're using this label to create the view for our toggle. And then we're going to use this ball to animate it from left to right to show the two stages we're going to have for the toggle. Okay. That's it for the HTML, for the CSS. First, let's style the label so we can see it. We're going to have a label, oops, label. It will have a width, 50 pixels, and a height, 26 pixels. And let's add a background color, 111. And display flex. Okay, so now we can see a rectangle, let's make it rounded by adding border radius 50 pixels. Okay, great. Now let's import the font awesome. Font awesome. So we can see the icons. Save. Next, let's center everything. So we're going to make our body, display flex, justify content center, and align item center. And let's make room for it to go in the middle of the screen. So we'll make it 100 viewports heights and remove the margins. Perfect. Now for the icons, let's style them to add a color on them. FM moon will be color, oops, color F1C40F and FA sun would be F39C12. Okay, now we can see the icons. Let's center them with a line item center and move them apart using justify content space between something like that we'll also add a padding of five pixels oh and i forgot to add box sizing so let me quickly add it box sizing border box all right let's style the ball also we're going to have a ball which will be position absolute First, let's make it visible. So width, 22, 22 pixels, height, 22 pixels, and background color, make it white. See, that's we had that little space after the sun. But if we're going to make it position absolute, and also, let's not forget to add position relative to parent. Now it won't 
disturb our sun anymore. And we can add the top and left properties, two pixels and two pixels. And let's make it circle by, add, by making border radius 50%. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so let's see if we click on the label, you can see that our checkbox is toggling. Checked, unchecked, checked, unchecked. Okay, so that works, but we don't want to see the checkbox, so let's hide it. We have a checkbox class, and let's add it opacity zero. And to remove it from the page so it won't take up space, we can make it position absolute. And now we have our toggle in the center of the screen. Great. So now we can still click on the label, but we are not seeing the changes. So we need to somehow get the value of the checkbox, if it is checked or not. And that's easily done by targeting the checked pseudo element. So if we go on the checkbox and say checkbox checked, and then we target the label, for example, we can change the background color. Let's see, background color purple or something. See, it automatically changed because the state was checked. So if we click on it, it will change the background color. But that's not what we want. We want to move the bar from left to right. So instead of targeting the label, and by the way, this selector is the adjacent selector. So it says basically that see what element goes after the input. So in this case, we have the input and we target the label which goes after the input. So now that we know that, uh, let's target the label after the input and inside the label we have the ball. And we can move the ball to the right by adding transform translate x 24 pixels. So let's check it out. You can see now when we click the ball moves from left to right. Let me move this code underneath the ball because it's it's on this is the styling of the same element and let's add a transition because we don't want the ball to jump we want it to animate from left to right so transition transform 0.2 seconds and linear and now when we click the ball moves slowly from left to right so that's perfect we have the animation in place now the last thing we need to do is add a little bit of JavaScript where we're going to target the checkbox. Document get element by ID checkbox. And we're going to add an event listener on it. Add event listener. When it's changed, we want to run a function. And here we want to change the theme of the website. But we don't have a theme yet. We only have the white background. So let's add a dark theme on the body. So we have the body and our add a dark class on it. And when this class is applied on the body, we can have a background color and now in the JavaScript, we can target the document body class list and we can toggle the dark class on it. So let's see what's happening when we click on the toggle. Oops. It works, but I, I copied the wrong X, hex code. So let me quickly change it. So it's 292C35. Perfect. 
So now when we toggle checkbox, we have the background color change on the body. Let's also add a little transition here. Background, 0.2 seconds and linear, so it will be smooth. Okay, perfect. The toggle is a little bit smaller, so let's add a transform scale 1.5 on it. So we make it bigger. You don't have to do this, I just wanted to make it visible because it's the only element on the page. So yeah, this is pretty much it. We only toggle the body, the body class and we can see the background changing. But let's see, for example, if we add a, a paragraph with some text in it. All right, let's uh, move the text down a little bit. Flex direction column. Okay, so now when we were toggling, you can see that the the text remains the same, but we can add a add the body that dark and toggle the the p tag, and we can do something like color. FFF or something like that. And now when we're toggling, you can see that the class is applied on the body and the paragraph is changing its color. So yeah, this is pretty much how you're doing a light dark theme toggler or how do you want to call it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you like and subscribe and all those fun things. See you in the next one. Bye.